on the top right you'll notice a button that you can click on to turn on and off your coordinate system. Next to it there is an icon that you can click on to turn on and off your origin or your crosshairs that show up in the center of the screen. Next let's make a shape to a square. We'll make a 3x3 three three square and you can choose where the anchor point will be of your square by clicking on the boxes that you see there and then move it to its origin or where it's going to snap to. You can see on your left origin lit up making the box snap to the crosshairs. Next we're going to go to job setup. So we'll go to two paths and job setup and you'll see where you input the data for the size of your blank material. We're going to have three by three by say one inch thick and then we can choose what corner is the zero point or the origin of where a part X or Y will be. You can also click on and off to display a shadow of the raw material around your part that you are going to machine. Down towards the bottom, material that you can choose from, post processor, and so forth. Now let's machine a part. I'm going to go to two path. I'm going to do a contour chain. Now I'll click on your box, and the box will light up completely all around white. Hit done. You're going to right click on that screen to choose a tool, a half inch end mill. Type in the comment box, say rough profile. This will show up in the program. Turn on the coolant. Now change some parameters. That box will say two inches initial clearance, quarter inch above the part rapid and then at the hundred thousands it'll start to feed into the material which is at zero. We're going to go down half an inch. We want this to say where. That's to the left. It's a tip. Everything looks good there. Leave a little bit of material for a finish pass. So we put a hundred there. Now this you could do multiple passes to creep in on it, but we're just going to do depth of cut. So I want to do several depths of 100 thousandths of pass, one finish pass. Hundred thousandths on the very last pass on the bottom. So I lead in and lead out will give you clearance so your tool can come into the part to cut around the shape. Okay, so let's do a back plot. I want to hit isometric view. That was a right mouse click, isometric, right mouse click, and I can hit dynamic pan and drag it down center of the box. In menu, tool path, operations, and in the operation menu, you can hit back plot run it and it shows the path that your tool will make as it cuts your part. We can also do a step by step. Click on the step button and every time you click on the step button it'll move the tool to its next position. As you can see down towards the right hand corner it's 300 thousandths deep going around quarter inch clearance going around 400 thousandths getting that quarter inch clearance as it comes up and these are all the parameters that we have put in in that uh, depth of cut box the hundred thousandths, one hundred one pass and then one hundred thousandths finish pass that's how we got the tool to do what it's doing here and then the curve in and the curve out that's your lead in and lead out so let's do a finish pass I'm just going to right click and copy my first operation, paste it below, and modify this one. 
just a few changes type in finish pass this all looks good no more depth of cut we're just going to do one finish pass and we're going to have zero stock to leave that's it right there we're going to regenerate this path so now you can see that's just the finish lower pass that's it so now we can do a verify see what our tools look like cutting this part you notice the Z changes on the lower screen this is the rough passes and last would be where it changed yellow that would be the finish pass okay so let's post this program let's create this program I'm going to go ahead and select all regenerate the path and then post I'll show the NC file and I'm also going to edit it and we're using the Fanuc post shown there okay name the program test block for for now and here's the program showing all the different depths of cuts and the thousands at a pass at a time and then our finish pass which is right here finish profile we take our last pass and there's the end of the program everything looks pretty good so we'll just go ahead and save and maybe name this something different for the CNC we'll call this program maybe program 100 and hit save 